and welcome back western outlaw episode seven when we last left off we fought our way through the ghost town chasing after Creston and the marshal who have taken Polly up here into the mountains we fought Crazy Ed. Crazy Ed, the man so crazy, lost his head. Where he is? Oh. Wow. They are waiting for us. We also encountered more of the bullet immune supernatural soldiers of Creston's, Creston's army. The only harmed by silver bullets from our rifles. Oh, and speaking of rifles, oh, whoops. Forgot to extend it all the way down to the bottom. Beautiful music. Uh, pause for just one second. I was going to show you. Here we are. If you actually ever wanted to know the names of the weapons we're using, the regular black revolvers, the Remington, the double revolvers are Colt, the shotgun is the Loomis, fourth is a Winchester rifle, rifle, and the sharpshooter rifle is the Sharps, I believe it's carbine, I'm not sure, and then of course dynamite. I'm not sure we have any more of. No, we do not. Hello? You can't hide forever. We'll reload my weapons while I'm here. And just for your information, I am recording all of this in sequence. I have been continuously playing for the past uh, good uh, six episodes, I believe. Because, again, if I reload my game, it's set to the easier difficulty. And I want to play this game through on Pale Rider. Where are you guys? There you go. Yeah, you guys are done. Get my game four heading out there. Beautiful guitar work. Uh, no. no, I don't believe I can get through here. Looks like I'll have to head through the house. Oh, heads itchy. All right. What did you say this guy looked like? Tall, slim, eyes like a hawk's. He's quick with a pistol, too. Took out all the bullets on the train himself, not to mention the rest at the ranch. Why? You think you know him? Could be. I knew someone like him once, and if it's him, that he'll find his way here. How do you know this fella? What is it? I'd say he's here already. What? Do I pay you all to sit around? Now get outside and see what that was. You, come with me. I think I hear him. I think I hear him. You got me. Oh. All right, well, it sounds like the marshal knows who we are. We met him in the past. 
This is another part of the uh, Clint Eastwood Westerns. Uh, in Unforgiven, it was done very well, but in Pale Rider, it was done as well, where... Good lord. Shotgun guys. You do not know the whole story behind the main character. It is referenced to by other characters, but you never get to directly see their past. Now, other characters might know about it, but that's as far as uh, you will be able to know about it. What is that? Oh, Winchester. Very nice. Let's see. That's the Sharps, isn't it? Yes, this is the Winchester. Let's reload that. It's a very good rifle. And we will reload these while we're here. And as a side note, it's best to wait until you're done reloading to save your game. Because if you don't, and you save your game while you are reloading, you will load back in with the amount of ammunition you had when you started reloading, not when you finished reloading. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't get in there. I still can't get inside. These pistols really are amazing. They're pinpoint accurate. It takes two shots to kill most enemies, so you can quickly You can quickly pop them as much as you need to to uh, take them down. The reload time is terrible though. Come on out, stranger! It is a blessing though that you can get out of here. that these pistols come with uh, speed loaders. jump down here. Ah. It's just instant death. Moving right along then. It also appears that your bullets travel through enemies and can hit multiple ones in a single line. So charging out like that from the mines actually a very bad idea but how do I get over there it's not through there can't jump over 
Boy. Hmm. Do I have to take this ladder? No. Okay, it's not a ladder. Uh, that is locked, okay. Hmm. That kid on the blacksmith's anvil must have smashed his thumb. be missing something here. Hmm. What? Oh, well, that's a new one on me. Maybe I am supposed to jump down. Well, I have to say, if that is the correct way to get down here, then I am... What in the heck is going on here? I am severely disappointed because that was mandatory fall damage, and if you didn't have enough health, you wouldn't be able to do it. Which is very bad. And it doesn't seem to be any upper limit to how much ammunition we're carrying. I've got well over 200 rounds now. Oh, good lord. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well. I know one way to take care of him. You little. You've got to be kidding me. Get up there and see what we can do. All right, now we got a little mining section, mine writing section. My controls are locked, so this is just a nice little ride through the mines. Hmm. 
Oh no. This is a very long minecart ride, I have to say. Must have tunneled all the way through this mountain, hollowed it out. And here we go again. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha. Uh Okay. Now, before I head down into the mines, some health I could pick up. Yes, there is, right over here. Thank goodness. Alright, let's try that again. You know, I can't help but think that the sequence would have been better had they uh, removed the these cutscenes. Well, not these in particular. These cutscenes are fine. Although explaining what the switch is for would have been nice. These cutscenes right here, they They're just long breaks in between the action sequences, they don't... Well, I suppose they give you a sense of traveling deeper and deeper into the mines.
It's gonna be a giant mess at the other end. It's gonna be a pile up of uh minecarts just filled with dead bodies. If I remember correctly, this is actually uh, the first on the rails shooter sequence, but it's not the last. There is one more before this game is over. Alright, let's take out these guys before they hit that switch. Send us plummeting into the black depths of the mine. Still not over. Alright, two in front, two in back. Fine. Let's take him out. There doesn't seem to be any kind of real momentum being lost here. Yeah, I should have had some variable speed set up so that when you're heading downhill, you gain speed, you start traveling super fast, and when you're heading uphill, you start to slow down. But. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.